In this video, I'm going to identify and describe the key elements of the bivariate regression equation. And the main reason we should have knowledge of the bivariate regression equation is that it helps us make predictions. So if you want to predict something, you can potentially use the bivariate regression to make that prediction. And the example that I use in the textbook is about predicting earnings based on the number of years of education. And so if we have information about somebody's education, with the regression equation, we can predict how much money they earn. And here is the regression equation. And the key portion on the left side is what we call y hat. Now y is the dependent variable in more general terms. And in this case, earnings is the dependent variable. We're trying to predict earnings. And the hat on top of the y in this case represents a predicted value of y. So the predicted value of the person's earnings, as an example, is y hat. And y hat equals the intercept plus the slope multiplied by a value of x plus error. And I'm going to walk you through each portion. So the intercept is what I call the foundation of the regression equation, because you're starting off with predicting how much somebody earns if they had no education whatsoever. And the intercept in this analysis, for the example of education and earnings, the intercept was estimated in the regression analysis at 13.976. So we would predict, on average, a person with zero years of education, that they would earn $13.98. And that's the intercept. And we start with that. And so for each increase in education, how much does that change their earnings? And that is going to be identified with the slope. And it's the unstandardized slope in this case. So the slope is going to help us understand or estimate how much increase in earnings they would expect to have based on their years of education. Now, I say increase because the unstandardized slope was positive in direction. Had it been negative, imagine that more education is related to lower earnings, this unstandardized slope would have been negative in value, but it's positive. And the unstandardized slope is saying, with each unit increase in X, which is earnings per day, you can expect on average to earn an extra $7.61 per day. And so with that information, I can help predict how much somebody earns if I know how much education they have. So I've done the intercept and I've done the slope. The other piece of information I need is an example of somebody's education. So let's say somebody had 13 years of education, for example. That would be inputted in this portion of the formula. The regression equation would have the slope multiplied by the years of education. So if you had one year of education, we would estimate an extra $7.61 per day earnings. And if it were two years of education, we would just multiply that by 2. So 7.609 times 2. We would expect an extra $15.22 if the person had two years of education. Now, we would add that to the $13.98 because the intercept is there. Everyone's starting with a little over $13 as their predicted, or I should say almost $14 as their predicted earnings if they had zero education. And then we move on to the slope. We just grab that number from the regression analysis, unstandardized slope, $7.61. And we multiply that by a value of education that we're interested in. Now, the last part of the equation is known as error or residual. Now, you don't need this portion of the equation to actually make a prediction. It's more of theoretical completeness to include the error term in the regression equation it's not actually necessary. You could actually delete this portion of the formula and you can make predictions of people's earnings or any type of prediction for that matter. It's there for completeness. And what this means is that in all likelihood, the regression equation is going to make errors. Sometimes we're going to over predict how much somebody earns and sometimes we're going to under predict how much somebody earns. And that difference between what we predict and what they actually earn is known as error or residual. And that is part of the e regression equation. So that is a run through of the key terms of a regression equation. We've gone from what we're trying to predict, a predicted value of any sort. And in this case, as an example, it's earnings per day. 
We have the intercept as the foundation because everyone is starting off with this amount of earnings per day, even if they have zero years of education. And then we add the slope, which is a product of how much education they have multiplied against the slope. And then finally the error term, which is the difference between what we predicted and what they actually are.